Shopify.com. As you can see, the URL is right there. And I'm going to show you how to get those avatars, banners, thumbnails, and intros. So once you're on the website, you're going to go right here, right in the middle, Tools. If you want to make an intro, you would use Clipmaker 0.5. I haven't used it myself, so I can't give you a really good review. My computer has trouble running it. But the thing I can tell you, try your best to probably use 2D or try to use 2D, make it end up being 2D, because 3D sometimes is harder, it takes a lot longer to render for some computers. My computer isn't very good, but it is sufficient for my needs. So, to make those avatars, banners, and thumbnails, you would go to background or 3. Templates you do not have to use, but they have a pretty good selection right here. You could save a custom one, load load one that you already have on your computer or you can start from scratch so basics is where where you choose what you want YouTube one is just means YouTube banner I don't know why it says YouTube one channel avatar makes a channel avatar thumbnail wow it makes a thumbnail video frame 1080p 720p Facebook cover photo and Twitter something I don't I don't know how to use Twitter but as an example, let's just show channel avatar. So, layer one, you could upload an image, or you could set a uh, texture or pattern. So, let's just uh, choose some random one. Boom, that one. Pretty cool. You could filter the opacity, whatever you like. So, that's it for layer one. There two, we're just gonna choose some random thing, you know. Actually, let's generate an image. Scribble that. That okay. Let's see what a lightning. Actually, looks kind of cool. I have to admit. So lightning. Last time I checked, it is in green. It's uh generally, well, at least what most people just say, it's like a yellow. Some say it's green. I don't know. So you could fiddle around with travel mode and stuff so change around with that do whatever you want we'll just keep it like that overlays so shadow on it as you can see is it even changing for me it's not even changing maybe you have to do okay, there we go you got to you can choose this getting cooler already so text plus images for text you click on the T little T with the rectangle change it to whatever you want I'll just type in raging raptor there's a very wide selection of fonts so whatever you want you could choose it's I'm not coming up but they're there so let's just choose a random one and it gets bam fresh and gunplay it looks pretty cool color it has all the colors you know whichever color you want change it right here plus my channel mostly having blue i'll just choose a random blue and actually i'm sorry i'm just gonna quickly change that lightning to an orange to more fit our channel color scheme. Boom, that already looks pretty cool. So text and images, there are other things you can change. Gradient angle. What, what is that what is that changing? Am I am I like blind? Like extreme change maybe I'll know no I don't see anything. Well sorry I'm blind or something. Rotation it rotates so you'd be sad if you don't know what rotate means font size obviously changes font so that's kind of obvious text border there if you want it thickness 5 looks okay and 4 yeah 4 let's go with 4 if you want to do a shadow just blur it a lot for a blurry effect maybe that's what blur does looks kinda cool so after you've fiddled with all of that, you just go to 
download your background, download, it leads you to this page, and for Windows at least, comes up right there, boom, look at all swaggy and stuff, and that is it. So, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, I'll catch you in the next one.